Dear students, to do a proper suprajindriva scaling, it is very important to identify the presence of calculus. How you actually identify the presence of calculus is visual method, which is you can see with your naked eye if there is any presence of calculus. If cannot, sometimes just from fresh calculus, you may not be able to detect in a very moist environment. Then you can use your three-way syringe and dry the area or you can even use your gauze and dry the area to see if there is a calculus present visually. Now, also the other way is to use a predontal probe and pass around the tooth surface or around the gingival margin to visualize and feel and perceive if there is any rough margins that show the presence of plaque or calculus also. Now, for this, for this case, now let us see if there is calculus and how do we quantify the calculus. For calculus index, we are going to teach in your curriculum oral hygiene index, the calculus component. The scorings are as shown in the slide. Zero is no calculus present. One, supragingival calculus covering not more than one third of the tooth surface. Two is supragingival calculus more than one third but less than two thirds. Even if there is subgingival calculus around the cervical portion of the tooth, then you can score it as two. Three is abundant calculus covering more than two thirds of the tooth surface or a heavy band of subgingival calculus. Can you please open? Now, as we can't appreciate much presence of calculus much on the labial surfaces here, on the teeth, anterior surfaces, I'm trying to focus on the lingual areas. Usually, lower lingual teeth is a very common site for formation of calculus due to the presence of the submandibular gland duct. As you can see, yes, there is calculus that is present, the yellowish deposit as you can see here, this yellowish deposit around the cervical margin of the teeth is nothing but the calculus. It need not be always yellowish or blackish in color. It could be sometimes whitish also or creamish white in color. You can see all around the uh, teeth cervical areas there is presence of calculus. There is some moisture. Yeah. I hope this is clear now. Now let us score how, what is the calculus score according to the uh, oral hygiene index calculus component. Is this calculus abundant covering more than two thirds? No, it is less than one third of the tooth surface. Hence, the calculus score should be one on all these lower teeth. But in case, if, they, if, you, if you are passing the probe and you find the subgingival calculus also, then probably you can put a score of 2. So once the calculus scoring is completed on all the teeth, as you can see, you can go on saying 0, 0, 0 here and maybe lingually also you see check for the presence of calculus as here upper okay once you finish scoring on all the teeth i will show you in the video how to calculate and arrive at the close please yes how to arrive at the oral hygiene status of the patient